piping components. Firstly, we got here is globe valve. It works in one direction. So you can see an arrow on the body mark. On the body, you will see an arrow. And it is round and it is multi-turn. So you have to turn multiple times to open and close it. It is used for controlling the flow and pressure on and off any fluid. So globe valve. Then you have tank. Uh, tank is basically used to store the fluid. Then you have inspection glass or side glass. Both the side you will have glass to see inside the fluid flow. How does it, uh, what's the condition of the fluid and what, uh, the, what is the flow. You just for inspection of the fluid. Uh, these are flanges. These flanges hold the piping components, all the components will have these flanges. They connect together and in between there will be a gasket to prevent any leak. Pipe and then here we have elbow. Elbow is basically uh, diverting the pipe to 90 degrees. And there are two types of elbow. One is 45 degrees, another one is 90 degrees. Right now what we have is here is 90 degrees, 90 degree elbow. So the pipeline from horizontal it became vertical now. Now you have here is globe valve, another globe valve. You see the arrow and you see the round body and you have multi-turn wheel, globe valve. Then here you have T, okay. What is T? Basically it connects two pipes with one. So this pipe and this pipe, the below pipe, they are connected with this T. And another thing with this T is it has a reducer. Okay. So the diameter of this pipe and this pipe is different. So there is a reduction in diameter from here to here. So you have reducer. So it's T with reducer. Then you have another T. Yeah, this is the T. Two pipes are connected to one. Then this is ball valve. It's quarter turn. So you have to turn 90 degrees to open or close it. Quarter turn valve. So ball valve. It's used for closing, opening and closing. Then again you have here elbow. And then here you have gate valve okay so there is a difference between gate valve and globe valve if you see the body of gate valve it is like slim little bit slim why because the disc is vertical in globe valve disc is horizontal it's horizontal in uh, gate valve you have disc is vertical and gate valve is used for opening and closing of the liquid without hammering, fluid hammer. Like it will slowly open and slowly close the valve. So this is also multi-turn valve. Then again you have elbow with reducer. Then again ball valve. Ball valve is also used for open and close but no controlling because this can be opened and closed. That's it. No more control on uh, pressure or flow and this is for low pressures high pressures we cannot use it then we have T and again you have this reducer then globe valve you see the direction one direction whenever you see arrow on this that means it can be used in this direction you cannot change it Another thing, what do you have here? Okay, here you have the body is same like globe valve, but no, don't have any handle. So this is check valve. Check valve. So you will definitely see an arrow in check valve. Here it is not there, so you have it here. You see the arrow here, check valve. So what does this check valve do? It will allow the fluid in one direction. Then what do you have here? T and then you have here dirt trap 
or strainer so basically you will have a steel mesh inside it so it will filter any impurities which you don't want in the fluid okay so it is dirt trap strainer any name so dirt trap removing the contaminants from the fluid again globe valve uh, this is flange all of the components will have flange to connect then this is T and then this one is uh, you can say condensate drain or water separator basically what it does is remove water from the fluid that's it we have last but not least you have pressure gauge usually in the tank or in between the pipeline to know the pressure how much pressure is in the system pressure gauge so it will be basically in bar or psi now what we have here is in bar so this is pressure gauge it will tell you the pressure in the system